Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyra and today I'm bringing to you my unofficial Project Pan products. Don't jump for joy just yet. I am not returning to project panning, but I have mentioned several times on my channel how I do work on things consciously within my collection that I want to get more use out of, that I want to use up before they go bad, and so on. And I just thought it would be a fun video today to bring to you the products that I'll be working on right off the bat. <laughs> in 2020. If you're curious about why I no longer project pan officially, I will link up in the cards a video for you in which I talk about why I'm no longer project panning. I have nothing against it. In fact, I very much enjoy consuming project pan content here on YouTube, but I've just figured out that it is not the thing for me and for my collection, but I still like to use my makeup in a conscious manner in terms of managing a larger collection. So here we go. So the first two things are lip products. I'm always sort of unofficially panning lip products within my collection. I leave them out on top of my vanity here and I just have them there as a means of reminding myself that I want to work through a specific lip product for one reason or another. The first one is the Mini Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in this shade chai looks like this actually it looks like this this is how much I have left I have the full size of this product now because it went on a deep deep discount during the month of December and this is definitely one of my all-time favorite nudes for my complexion and I just want to work through this product because like I said I do have the full size and I want to get this used up I've had it for a couple of years now um, <laughs> there you go. And then the other product that I am currently working on is the Hourglass Unreal Lip Gloss. This was a quaint perk at Sephora and it is in the shade Sublime. This is pretty much brand new, but I've been using it a lot the last couple of weeks. I really like this for lightening up certain nude lips as well as applying to my lips like when I'm filming eyeshadow looks like this one and I don't want like that total concealer lip thing going on so and in general I like using up the mini lip products within my collection a lot of times if they're mini it means I didn't choose them for myself so I want to use them up and also you know be able to concentrate on the full-size lip products within my collection which are the ones I most likely did choose for myself. I have a couple of primers here that are just getting old and I don't want them to go to waste because they're good primers. They're good primers for my skin. They're just very specific primers and also I have found other primers that I prefer. So these are falling by the wayside. The first one is the Dr. Brandt's Pores No More Luminizer Primer and I've had this for quite a long time. I got this in one of my very first boxy charms and it's a good primer. It's a luminous primer. It does work with my skin type and everything. I just don't find myself reaching for this. I don't find that I necessarily need a luminous primer. I, When I'm looking for luminosity, I tend to rely on things like cream highlight and powder highlight and so on. So I don't really feel like I need this type of primer in my life, so I just want to use it up. And then along the same vein, I have the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I used up a sample size of this, really enjoyed it, bought the full size, probably ultimately not a great choice for me. Again, I have no problems with this primer. I just don't find that I need my primer to do this function for me. And so I'd like to use this up. This was not a cheap product, even though I got it half price during an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I just don't want it to go to waste and I want to move it out. <laughs> Next, I have a bronzer and it is the number seven match made bronzer in the shade Caramel. 
I have had this for a very long time. It is a beautiful bronzer, which is why I've hit significant pan on this. I have worked on panning this in the past, and winter does tend to be a pretty good time of the year for me to work with this bronzer. It tends to look pretty nice on the skin, and like I said, it's one of those situations where I wanna use it before I lose it. Powder products do tend to last quite a bit longer than cream or otherwise, but it still has a shelf life and I do want to work through this bronzer so I can concentrate on working through other bronzers in the future. So I thought this would be a good time to pull this out and start working on it. And then two products that I've actually mentioned recently in previous videos about wanting to get more use out of, possibly pan them this year is two blushes that are very much favorites to my collection and that is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Party as well as the Elf Mellow Mauve. Elf Mellow Mauve still remains to be in one of my top three blushes of all time. So the goal is not to use this up. I'd like to hit pan on it at the very least and then go from there. But to me, it doesn't make sense for me to try and pan this just because if I do pan this, I am going to have to repurchase it because it's a favorite. And so what I really want to do is just sort of give myself permission to use it, really get some good enjoyment out of this by putting it in this unofficial product project. <laughs> um, and like I said, it would be great to hit pan, which I do think I'm getting very, very close to. And then same goes for, whoa, I almost instantly panned it. <laughs> Calm down. Um, and then the same goes for the Tarte blush. I'm, You can see that innermost ring there. I'm getting super close to hitting pan on this, and that's ultimately what I would like to do. This one I actually may work on using up because I also have the Milani Romantic Rose Powder Blusher, and that one is so super similar to this one that I don't feel like I need them both in my collection. So I think I will shoot to use up this one. And then last two face products before we talk about a couple of palettes. And those are the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the shade 01 Highlight. This is literally my like one of my top three favorite highlights of all time. And I sort of just leave it in my drawer. I don't want to use it up, but that's silly. <laughs> if I use this up this year, which I'm sure I can if I really keep it out on my vanity and keep it at the forefront of my mind, I can purchase the full size and still be very, very happy about that decision. Again, this has been in my collection for well over a year now, so if you want to get use out of it, and I want to love the things that I love, and I'm going to love them by using them. And then another product that I had worked on panning before with some success is my little deluxe size here of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed in the shade Opal. You may be able to see here that I did hit pan on this one. And this year I actually would just like to go ahead and use this up, move it out of my collection. This is a nice highlighter and I do like the way it looks on my skin, particularly in the warmer months when I'm just ever so slightly not so pale. <laughs> um, but this is just not my favorite formula overall for highlighters. And so instead of letting it go to waste, I just want to use it up and move it out and be able to concentrate on other highlighters that I adore. No, you did not hear me wrong. I did say palettes. I am not doing a pan matte palette this year. I just don't find that that type of product lends to the overall focus of my channel that I want to have, but I do want to get more use out of certain palettes, especially because they do have a shelf life. And one of them is just one I want to use more because I love it and because I did work on panning it before, and it is the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. I did hit pan on quite a few shades in this in 2019, I believe it was, last year during my no-buy year, was it? 
No, it wasn't. I lied. 2018, 2019 was the Jaclyn Hill palette. So I just didn't get enough use out of this during 2019 for my preference because I love this palette. It's so easy to work with. I'm a huge fan of Lorac shadows and I want more Lorac in my life, but that doesn't mean that I need to go out and buy new Lorac palettes. It means I need to use the one that I have and that I already love. So I have no goals for this. I just want to keep it out. I want to reach for it when it has what I'm looking for. And, you know, just again, like I said, by having it out on my vanity, just remind myself to use it more because I do love this palette. And then the other palette <laughs> is definitely an oldie but a goodie, but it's one out of this brand of eyeshadow palettes that I don't use the most, and I want to get more use out of it because I do like it. I just don't think that I've necessarily inspired myself with it just yet. Let me know if you would like to see a 7 looks video um, using this palette because I think that could be kind of fun. This is not a new palette by any means, but I would guarantee at least 50% of us at this point probably have this palette, and it is the ABH Modern Renaissance palette. You can see here, I'm not even close to hitting pan on any of the shades in here. The shades I've gotten the most use out of are definitely these two shimmers right here. But overall, I, I really like this palette. I like the mattes in this palette. I think that when I don't have a bunch of neutrals in my Shop My Stash, I could be reaching for this along with the Lorac palette. And I just want to get more use out of it, I guess. I want to learn to love this. I like this palette, but I don't think I've ever loved this palette with a passion. And I really think I would if I got more use out of it and I got to play with it some more. So again, let me know if you want to see seven looks with that, if that would be fun or helpful for you. And that is it. If I counted right, I have 10 products here. I'm not going to be doing monthly updates on this project. Like I said, this is an unofficial project pan. If you guys are keen to hear about it, I could update you quarterly or most likely I will update you in my month in review videos, which I do at the end of every month and just let you know you know, when I do make progress, if I do hit pan, when I do finish up a lip, lip product and things like that. And also you'll be updated in my makeup empties, my beauty trash videos as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I just thought this would be a fun little video to film and to share with all of you in case you're curious when I mention unofficially panning things within my collection. I appreciate each and every single one of you who continues to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And with all of that said, I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful. Panning if you want to makeup days. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video real soon.